I guess I should have said good sunrise. Now it's a good night because we're vampires and we're wide awake. We're getting the hell out of here. We gotta go meet Mercurio. It's gotta be a fake plant. There's no sunlight at all there. Ah, a free newspaper. Carnival of death. Stop doing that. Mother shan't be too pleased. None too pleased. Because I'm reading the damn paper? Look, look, Steve. You're the section of my brain that's gotta shut up right now. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. Maybe it's his mother. Maybe it's a killer's mother that's not pleased. That seems Cemetery like runoff congealing at the door. All right. I wonder what the lock picking for this door is. Souls draped in rotten tatters and father dances in the dark. All right, man, I got it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't open the door and come back later. Sorry if I catch you doing it. Thankfully, no one is here. It was totally useless to come in here. There seems to be nothing I can take. Except more pizza. People in this building love pizza. Even I'm ordering pizza, and I don't even eat the shit. And she thinks that's hilarious. Let me see. Murrieta, Keegan, Moore. What does that say? Nivbid? Not anymore. Anyways, I don't have any mail. You got you got some change, mister? <laughs> what should appear on the doorstep of my web but a nice juicy fly? <laughs> Never pass up free blood. Although, if I think if you're Nosferatu and you go out the door and he sees you, well, maybe he's too drunk, but he should really just go screaming. Oh, that guy's not having a good night. <laughs> Unfortunate. I mean, we should see what his problem is, right? We should see if he's okay. I don't even like the looks of you. Da -da -da. Ch -ch -ch. Seriously, Windstorm Central. You are entering Elysium. I, if, I, I really, it's a shame that the Posh have ruined classical music, because classical music is so good if you give it a chance. Oh. And you are? Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you the fleet-footed god? Uh, Mercurio, if that's what you mean. Oh, shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. That's the last thing I need. I'm bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. You need to open your eyes. Now tell me your tale. I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. <laughs> Hippocrates is not my forefather. Who broke you, Mercury? 
goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie bricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. Should have handled those bricks. Goddamn dirty cali rag bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit. They ain't got the money, they got the astrolite. <laughs> What blood do you speak? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month Oof. I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize that I'm almost 60. You would think your brain might be a little bigger after so much sand has fallen. Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. Tell me where my feet must travel. Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Yes. All right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. It seems the fleet footed guard needs a helping hand. You gotta you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. Yes, fleet foot, not fleet hands. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. <laughs> My assistance may help you greatly. Yeah, if you could oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Only the night will tell where I wander. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Your words will be weighed, Mercury. Farewell. Now, what do we do about poor Mercury? I wonder, I wonder. Bob wonders too, over at the corner. Can you hear him? I can. But that's Steve on piano. Defense and bash soak help against bullets. Excuse me, officer. There's a there's a group of men that have explosives. Do you uh well fuck you. I see shinies. We are moving. Seymour's coffee shop are moving to another location. On the main boulevard of the moon is melting. If you say so. Dear Stop cousin. doing that. Mother shan't be too pleased. None too pleased. Let me see. Anyways, I need to go to the beach. They're the ones with the boom booms. Do, 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 do. I'm reporting you to your sergeant. For not helping in this criminal case. Ah, I have a problem and he kept going. Now you know he's an American cop. I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? A cemetery runoff, congealing at the door. Was like, I don't know. <laughs> Shark bite? No, I've seen shark bites. Stop doing that. Whatever killed him. Mother 
Slash to ribbons. First part was the meat wagon. This was not bad today, or something. Maybe it was a werewolf. Yeah, Ted, you dick. Vampires, werewolves, you jerk. Do, 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 do. Don't want to trip down the steps. But seriously, that lady's gonna stop crying. One way or another. I'll make her laugh. That's what I'll do. Coming up on some grade A music. Not so much the map music here, but the music that's going to be on the radio. It's so good. Up there, through that chain link gate, and up those stairs. Ah, the demons who broke the fleet footed god. Those men you are looking for. You see the twisted strings of my tomorrows. Speak more. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Oh, if only you knew. May the moonlight your twisted path, Shadow Seer. Farewell. This is not the song I remember. I remember Smaller Guard, Smaller God by Darling Violenta. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Ooh, sparklies. But we're not going over to the uh, chain link fence just yet. We need to get a closer look at that gruesome sight at the pier. It's all the rave in the newspaper, the cop, that jerk Ted. It's all coming together. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh yeah, that's right, I have a quest log. Mikurios need us some serious painkillers. I'll get him some drugs before I turn in the quest properly or something, I don't know. Serves so up, uh, Mikurios asked to retrieve Ashley. He's supposed to get free from a group of junky pricks who lived at the top on the beach. Additionally, Mercurio would also like to see if he can get his money back. Maybe. Carnival of Death. You saw a bloody murder scene on the pier, but weren't able to find anything significant about the killer, except that the killing was extremely brutal, vicious, and beast-like. Welcome to America. The Regent's Riddle. M. Strauss, a tree of agent, is invited to his home in LA. You need to find him. His invitation left a cryptic riddle, which is actually pretty obvious, and then even if you just ignore it and search all the buildings, you'll find it. Are there any treasures hidden about? Sadly, none of these games work. Though I do think Activision actually made that game way back in the day. Oh, Pitfall. Oh, did anyone actually actually play this when they were younger? Like, I loved this game. Hey look, sparklies. I don't think I'll actually need that, but this game was fun as hell. Me and my buddy when I was a kid, we we loved this game. He was always the lizard though, I was always the gorilla. Donkey Kong Power Son. I hate Call of Duty. Blood Quest. I think that's a play on Dragon Quest, but I don't know. 
King Neptune tells all. Except he doesn't. Not the games in here work, sadly. Though they do make arcade sounds very loudly. Hell, there's not even any cue balls or anything. Someone did some good work on the water. I don't remember it looking that great. I remember it looking like just like a, a flat, gray plane that vaguely reflected the moonlight. But we got some experience. It has not. Uh, e evening. Let me see. Blood runs red on the fairway. Why? M mur murder. No, no, I, I, I wasn't here when it happened. Yes. Where were... Where, where you were will come full circle. I am God. Yeah, that didn't help his nerves. <laughs> now cry, Lee. I really miss this scene with Darling Violet a smaller guy. I'm not gonna lie, it, it just felt right somehow. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, alright? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Let us trade words here under the morbid moon. Be my guest. It's morbid time. You be the first. Most of the time, you type just run us off. Or in the case of some of the long faces we got gathered around here, killers on sight. Why do wolves run off the little sicklings? Don't know. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Hmm. How did your blood go from thick to thin? I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. The flower girl. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And... Tell me your tale, it's a sickly. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realize now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. We're all children of the night, bloodthirsty and damned. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Does the thin blood flow for you all? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home <laughs> cities. Yes, the Black More Sabbath. More in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Is your flower dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Perhaps I'll delve the mysteries of your thin blood. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. 
secrets hidden by you may show themselves to me. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. Shadow Seer. He can't speak so well's Julius. Kids gloves with him. They've had it rough. Hmm. Where might I type? Where might I find the little secrets? Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. My shadow darkens other domains. Farewell. Ah, Shadow Cirrus. You have me. No, no, you are going to China. My god, that was bouncy. Yes, the future may take me where you see. Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? I see the Dark Father and the one who stands in front of him. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh God. Oh God. Run. Yes. The tomb will light up the night sky. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see... Nothing. Disregard what I say. Look again. Perhaps I can share your dark vision. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. A blood carnival begins tonight. Do you see? Murder. Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, and to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. Travels to the heart of the angels, and to the home of the stars. He goes to L.A., then Hollywood. Hmm. The vision is blurry, even for one as blurred as myself. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Are you that bad with English? Tell me the fate that has laid the road before me. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. <laughs> Take 20 gold and speak your riddles. Nah, fate told not the reins of my destiny. Farewell. I've played that game in carnivals before. It's silly. <sighs> this sucks, bro. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? He walks among us, playing his ancient game. You mean he's around here? Where? And in, in what game is he playing? I, I really need to find him. Tetris. Why do you seek the Dark Father? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Only a silver screen dream. Oh. But um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? The D's sticks to you like dirty underwear. Specifically the ones you are currently wearing. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? You could wash them. What? You're not having a blast. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Oh, these options. The leopard cannot change its spots, but it can hunt. Understand? Oh. 
And then I laugh hysterically. Mayhem, bro. Mayhem, bro. All right. Oh, dip. Running a little over. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.